Hey guys, welcome in a new video. Um, this one is a little bit different than maybe other videos. It's uh, about a conversation Micha and I had during a bike ride, about like our training philosophy, his training philosophy, how um, nowadays like lots of um, there's lots of talk about lactate and uh, my approach and our group's approach about this. Um, so yeah, just basically podcast uh, kind of video i hope you enjoy this as well and let us know if uh, this is something you like more in the future or you don't like it you can also say of course um but yeah enjoy the question i wanted to ask earlier yeah it's when i w looked at my heart rate oh. and i wondered what your uh, maximum heart rate is oh my maximum heart yeah. rate i'm actually not too sure huh? i think um wait in a uh, four on training because I don't I've actually only just started to wear a heart rate monitor again oh, okay um, and I didn't wear it for a very long time and I thought I'll try to wear it yeah. again and see because I just was interested in it Joel doesn't do much with it mm -hmm. um, but I thought it was interesting but I think um, if I really go all out I'll still make I'll still go above 200 ah, okay I think in Forumur maybe my max was 192, 193 on training. But yeah, it's never all out. Okay. So uh, that's uh, running though, which goes a bit higher than biking. Yeah. Our I max can... heart rate uh, is pretty similar then. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, but okay. all the rest is very different. <laughs> <laughs> What's your heart rate now? Uh, 138. That's not too. 122. No. Like bit. your resting heart rate is way lower than uh, yeah, I guess than it's mine. In the morning, about 40. Crazy. Well, there's people that have way lower heart rate, yeah. so. Like Marta? Yeah. He doesn't go much above 160, I think. Eh? Wow. Max? It's very different. Straight. It seems like Joel doesn't really do a lot with uh, like the numbers. Does uh, he ever do like lactate testing or something no. like that? No. I haven't done lactate testing since 2016. Oh wow. <laughs> when I was with my old coach. Yeah. Then we did it a lot, but Joel doesn't do it, no. Joel is more a coach that really yeah, goes on feels like. Yeah. He asks you a lot like how you're feeling and also he's very good at like monitoring you like yeah. the way you arrive at the pool in the morning or yeah. like how happy you are or when you're tired like he will see it and okay. adjust a bit and yeah. so he's really more a coach that like goes on fields and yeah. of course looks at like your power or yeah. your times in the pool or but not only that like he also really like yeah asks a lot of questions. Yeah. Like, yeah, so then it's also like your responsibility to be, to be really honest and well communicate. Yeah. It's your your own was responsibility, yeah. of course, to know your body and follow your body, and yeah. which it takes some time, I guess, like um, to really know your body as well, like mm -hmm. especially maybe coming from a a group or a training where it's all like really based on lactate yeah. and your paces are really set and where Joel is like even the heart sets we, we usually have like our paces are easy cruise steady solid heart okay. which it really also depends on the day how you feel and yeah. he'll put mainly on the run like um, max speeds like speed limits, we yeah. don't go faster. More because otherwise, I guess, stuff sometimes might get out of control when you uh, feel good. Yeah. Um, but then in the swim and the bike, it's like 
more based on those like intense, these easy crews. Or we sometimes have basic on the bike, which is like, yeah, just a talking ride, yeah, you know, yeah. like just making some hours straight. And then like steady, solid and hard, those are like the, the harder paces where I'd say steady is like a bit under threshold. Solid is like a bit above threshold maybe and hard is just hard, yeah. which yeah, we don't yeah. have often. Just sometimes in the pool some 50s hard or something. So yeah, it's all based on like feeling more than lactate or this is quite, I don't know, it's quite special. Like everybody now thinks yeah. that you do have to do lactate. Lactate, lactate is very popular at the moment. Yeah. Um, Measuring everything. Yeah. And still you guys are like at the Joel, front of the race. Yeah, Joel is also not, he says this a lot in like podcasts, like yeah. you can indeed like measure a lot of data. Like you also have now like these aura rings or whoop to track yeah. your recovery and stuff. Um, you have these pedals in the swim that monitor like or it's like a power pedal to yeah. see like your stroke and we've used this before but it's like what do you do with it you know like yeah, yeah. it's normal to be tired as a triathlete like being tired is part of of the lifestyle you know like yeah in hard training blocks I am tired and if you have a hard day and probably your whoop or your aura ring would say like oh you haven't recovered well you'll feel it and you <laughs> go a bit slower yeah. so true you adjust without something telling you that and it's more for me i think when yeah like it might be getting a bit in your head at one point i used this app to measure your heart rate variability yeah. um, and then one morning it said to me oh you're not recovered you're tired yeah. and it was in my head the yeah. whole heart swim and it's a worry and we're like like a self-fulfilling prophecy yeah yeah, yeah yeah indeed where we don't really use it so I don't know like I like this approach I think it definitely it works very well for ITU yeah I don't know maybe long distance it might be a like that might be a bit more useful to like really stick to your paces maybe a bit more like but I don't know I feel good with this I like it That's not it. too much thinking not too much yeah. data more feeling yeah although like I like all this stuff and I like all the gadgets and but I've had a few of those and in the end I just stopped using it because it's interesting in the beginning because it's new but then I don't really do anything with it so yeah, I yeah. right so I stopped with it anyway I don't know you've done some lactate testing no or my coach does it a bit well yeah, yeah. I mean for me yeah a little bit more with his uh, more serious athletes yeah. <laughs> yeah I think he's very influenced by the Norwegians well, he did a okay, interns, uh, internship with them, no? Yeah. Which, of course, like it works, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's just whatever you but feel I, yeah, good Yeah, I think with, it's just or... interesting and nice to see that like your group doesn't do it and you're yeah. still at the front of the races. Well, uh, I also think though with, it takes some time to maybe know your pace and know yeah. your body where with like a bit of a new athlete like yourself like Maybe it, it can be useful to know yeah, yeah, yeah. I think especially like well I remember a couple of years ago you would always run quite hard yeah. on easy runs like yeah. for that kind of stuff it's probably useful so I'm still can show known you, like, in my training group of, uh, ah, yeah. for very high uh, lactate ah, yeah. every time we measure uh, <laughs> yeah But you just do testing or use it in training as well, where you measure like during a set or? That's what we do. Ah, yeah. We measure dur dur during a set. Yeah. So basically you always go too hard. 
basically. Yeah. <laughs> well, in Dutch I say I'm just a Zuremens. <laughs> a sour person. Sour person. That makes a lot of lactate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>